Hello everyone, we are back on Nublar in Return to Jurassic Park and we are going to look at all of the Triceratops skins that have been added to the game. During my playthrough I've only seen the standard skin which is the 1993 pattern which is a real big step up from the skin and uh, model that we used to have in the game. So I'm just going to release that one for starters. And then we're also going to look at all of the different variants and see which one we like best. But this is a great... This is a great jumping off point right here. I love the pattern on the face, which adds a lot of interest. There, there, girl. You're okay. She just looks like she's much higher quality than the rest of them. Now, if you, uh, if you don't know already, I've been looking at all of these species and all of the skins for the past couple of days and will continue to do so. So if you want to see all of the skins as well and see my reaction to them and know how I would rank them, please subscribe to the channel and give this video a like as well to help me out. Let's release the second one, 1993 Pattern A. These names are very creative. <laughs> Oh, we're on the shadow side. That's not going to work. Oh. Oh, I like that. Very green. Oh, I like how vivid the green is. Very cool. Very, very cool. I love those big scales on the frill and on the side. I guess the one thing I... I I'm not in love with with this color is the mint on the face. I think maybe a darker green or just a lighter variant of this green, but this is a di an entirely different tone. It's like yeah, like I said, it's more minty, so I'm not sure if that matches, but I really really love how that looks. Oh, I keep forgetting that I need to give them all water. Here. Every everyone have some water. There you go. And food. there she is such a beauty alan grant's favorite i think she's uh she's getting higher up on the list of everybody's favorites now that she's had a nice upgrade let's continue on with the next skin 1993 pattern b more pale still with an olive undertone I like uh, these nodes on the back as well. Yeah, so she's a lot lighter. I like this skin as well. Oh, it's going to be difficult to choose a favorite. Again, with the mint on the face, but it matches with this skin color a lot better. I also like how the horns are... Very definitely a lighter color than the rest of her. Like this one as well, the horns are much lighter. With this one, the horns are... Well, they're definitely lighter than the rest of the skin tone, but the difference isn't as pronounced as with the other ones. I really hope we can see a really dark Triceratops with light horns. That really stand out. That would be cool. So this is pattern C coming up. I'm trying to keep these videos short. I love this. So we have red with green on the face. This this makes me a little bit uncomfortable. It looks like blood on her neck. <laughs> That's a really cool color. I'm speechless. I'm staring. Oh, I really like this. This looks badass. It's so pretty. Oh, I'm so glad we're finally getting a Triceratops that does justice to the Triceratops. Very, very nice. Uh, so far, that might be my favorite. I really like how it stands out. Okay, number five. I think there are six in total. This is pattern D. We're on the shadow side again. Ooh! Oh, that's also really cool. I'm not really sure if I... If I like it, per se? 
But it's so different that I'm immediately attracted to it. Just all of the different colors in the frill. It's actually it's, it's actually a really weird skin. But I don't know, it just it's so present. I like it. I really like it. This is a good looking bunch of stickos. I really like the green one too though. Okay, so we have one more. Pattern E. On the shadow side again. Holding my breath. Eh. Although No, I'm I'm not a I'm not the biggest fan of this one, I think. Again, I don't think the green uh, pattern on the face is the best match for it. I think it would have been... I would have liked it better if it didn't have that green on the face. Let's delete these fences so they can be together and be happy. There you go. So these are all of the Triceratops that have been added to the game. Uh, the model itself is a huge improvement, but the skins are also really cool. I'm actually... Growing more and more in favor of this one. This really light gray one. This one I'm liking less and less. Even though I was really drawn to it at first. When I'm, when I'm seeing them all together like this. I'm like. I don't know. It just doesn't fit. But I do see myself adding this one to a herd. To, uh, to mix it up. Make things different and unique. So. I like. Um. I think I like this one the least. Pattern E. Then this one. Middle ground for me would be... I don't know. This is really difficult. I think I might like the classic Triceratops the most. So it's going to be number one, number two, number three, number four, number five, and number six. That's sort of my tentative ranking of these guys. It's really interesting that all of these classic dinosaurs that we've had in the game for over a year now, it, it feels like they're brand new again because of these new models and these new skins. And I know that when people play the game online, that Frontier can keep track of how many dinosaurs are bred of a certain species. And I would love to have a look into those statistics and see how many more Triceratops, Tyrannosaurus Rex, Raptors, how many more of those species are getting bred now that the DLC is out. Why am I looking at Triceratops butts? That's not flattering. Here you go, that's better. I would really love to see that spike in the graph of how many more people are breeding these species right now and adding them into their parks, making big herds of these guys and big raptor packs. I think, uh, yeah, these new skins are really invigorating our interest in these species and uh, general interest in the game overall is really increasing thanks to this DLC. So I guess it's safe to say it's the best DLC so far. Oh, just, I wish they would fix that, the walking through each other. But, you know, we're nitpicking. Alright, so now that we've seen all of the skins, let me know in the comments which one you like the most and which one you like the least. Uh, please consider subscribing to the channel if you want to see more videos like this and you want to see what I'm going to do in Sandbox with all of the new stuff that we have thanks to the DLC and of course I will be doing tip videos on the new maps as well and uh, give this video a like before you head out again. Thank you so much for watching and until next time, enjoy the game. <laughs>